I hired a coder these last couple weeks to make a widget that you guys are going to put on your streams for free. Like that's like the really the entire point of this video is like, what's the widget? Why is it good for you? How do you install it at no cost? <laughs> Man, when did I become such a philanthropist? You guys know I'm joking when I say stuff like that, right? Like I don't have to explain that. Cause for real, like the only reason I'm able to do any of this stuff and hire people to build stuff that I give to you for free is just because of the amazing support that you guys have given uh, on the Twitch channel with your subscribing, uh, watching these videos, when you buy gear using my affiliate links, like because of the amazing support, I'm able to go out and just hire a coder and when he says, this is my rate to build this, I go, do it and then you guys get it for free. So thank you. I didn't make this happen, you made this happen. Let's jump into this because this is going to blow your mind. Best thing you will install on your stream in 2019. Let's go to the stream setup. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream setup. Some of you have seen this place. For some of you, it's brand new. And for those of you, I would say come check me out on Twitch. Link in the description below. But I'm very excited to talk about what we're giving away today. Have you ever seen in uh, maybe bigger streamers streams, they've got this little thing called a sub train where they've got a five minute timer that's slowly ticking down. And every time someone subscribes, that timer starts over. And there's a little number next to it showing the amount of subs that have happened in the train. And if that timer ever gets to zero, the number goes down to zero also. The whole purpose of them is to encourage the community to keep the train going and see how many subs you can get and making it fun for the viewers, but they're just usually kind of there and they're kind of boring and they don't really serve their purpose. Well, that changes today. I want you guys to watch down below and see what happens when someone subscribes to my channel. We have our sub alert right here and then wait, <gasps> what's this? Little Charmander? Making his way downtown, walking fast, actually walking kind of slow, making his way over to this Pokeball over here, and a little number appears in the corner down there. That's, that's the sub train. Wait, watch what happens, watch what happens when I replay this. Ready for this? There's the alert again. Wait for it. Sub train starts over, Charmander goes back to his starting point, number goes up to two. Wait, it gets better. Let's drop another one, let's drop a prime sub which I have a Bulbasaur showing off my prime subs. Watch what happens. Changes to a Bulbasaur, number goes up to three. I know it sounds like I'm just getting excited over like literally next to nothing, but the amount of coding that goes into an interactive sub train like this, a fully customizable sub train is amazing. And one of my favorite parts that actually hasn't been seen on stream yet, one in 50 subs will make this little guy a shiny. And if someone gets that shiny, they get a little VIP badge for the rest of the stream, making it fun. Every time someone subscribes, they're gonna be watching for it. The whole chat's gonna be watching to see if it's a shiny and that person gets a reward. Just a fun little thing to make the stream more engaging. And I know what you're saying. Well, I only get like one or two subs a stream, maybe. So this doesn't really apply to me. It's not only just a sub train, you can also make it a bit train. Or if you're not even an affiliate, you can also make it a follower train. So I want to explain exactly how you can get something like this that's completely customizable, how you install it, how you change it to a, a bit train, how you change what it looks like, whatever you want. It's totally customizable for you. But there's someone who worked a little bit harder on this than I did. This was my idea. And I brought on two people that were frankly much more talented than I was to actually make this a reality. One of them is the editor of this channel that you guys have gotten to know, Sam. The other one is the coder who worked on this named Firewire. Sam's been the video editor for this channel for a while now. He's a fantastic animator, graphic designer, all the things that I needed to make this uh, a reality. And he worked very closely with, uh, with Firewire, also named Mike. And so I want to pass this along to him. He's going to actually explain exactly how to install it on your channel, exactly how this works, how to customize it, how to get this look looking however you want. Sam, do your thing, bud. Hey guys, welcome back to the Alpha Gaming Channel. My name is Sam Woodall. I am your stream doctor. No, and, you're to not. and today I am your stream doctor, and there's nothing that Harris can do about it because, well, I edit these videos. 
Before we jump in and get started with today's video, I thought I should let you all know that I do stream on Twitch. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday evening. The link is in the description if you guys want to come and check me out and drop me a follow. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So we're going to take a look and cover a couple of different parts of the Subtrain widget, including how Harris's widget works for his stream, how you guys can install it for free and start using it on your own streams, and of course, how to customize it to make it look amazing, similar to how I did on my stream. Breaking down Harris's widget is essentially made up of two WebM video files. One of those video animations is a one second looping Pokemon sprite, and the other one is a closing Pokeball animation. Both of these WebM video files are completely independent of one another, but with the use of some really clever coding, we can get them to do some really awesome things together. The walking Pokemon sprite is looped over time using that clever code, and the Pokeball animation is triggered once the train reaches its destination. But if you guys prefer Digimon over Pokemon, or if you want to throw literally anything in there, then we have released a version that you guys can install and start using today on your streams. We use stream elements to make this widget work, but don't worry, you can use Streamlabs if you want to. Crikey, you, how many people wanted to click off the video? at that point. We use Stream Elements because they have a really intuitive and easy web-based editor that allows the code to be stored on their system and then imported into OBS using a simple browser source. That way you don't have to install loads of Python scripts and have them running locally on your PC and having to deal with that hot mess. You click the share link in our Discord and bam, it's installed for you on your Stream Elements dashboard ready for you to customize and then slap onto your stream with a simple URL. And even if you use Streamlabs, all you need to do is log into Stream Elements with your Twitch information, and it will pull the same follower bit subscriber information that Streamlabs does, so there's really no problem there. We've included a lot of customization options with this widget, so you guys can really customize it and make it fit your brand or add a bit of personality to your stream. We have two main different looks or themes for the subtrain. One of them is a very minimal, simple line animation, and the other one is a custom sprites animation like like the one you see on Harris's stream. For the custom sprites theme, you have two main areas you can upload your own custom files, including WebM video files, GIFs, and images. You have loads of different options, including things like being able to change how long the train is visible for before it's reset and has to start again. You also have the ability to change the direction of the train instead of it going right to left, you can have it going left to right, but if you don't want it to go horizontally, you can have it go vertically instead, which gives you a lot more creative options for doing some really awesome some things on stream. You can also change the font and change the font icons, have them visible or change their placement and where they are on the train as well as their offset in position with the train itself. Even down to the kind of train that is displayed, you can change it from a sub train to a bit train or even if you're not affiliated yet, you can have a follower train on your stream. There is so much creative opportunity with this widget that you guys can customize and change so much with that I cannot wait to see what kind of things you guys are going to do. But if you guys want some very serious customization done to yours like Harris did with the shiny Pokemon or the different sprites for the three different types of subs then uh, hit the Firewire up in the Discord. He's more than happy to make some custom adjustments for you guys and it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper than having to pay someone to code this from scratch. You can duplicate and install the widget across multiple pre-existing overlays if you really want to, but at the moment doing it that way doesn't exactly work. The best way is having the widget inside of its own overlay inside of Stream Elements and then having that as a single browser source that you can have across multiple scenes inside of OBS. But there is an awesome and advanced tip that we have discovered that will allow you to have multiple trains with different lengths. If you're like me and you have different scenes where you have a gaming screen and an intermission screen and you want the train to be visible on both of those but have different train lengths Lengths. Well, this is how you do it. Duplicate the widget so you have a second copy inside of the same overlay. On the duplicated widget, move it down and extend it to the length you want it to be to match your other scenes. And then inside of OBS, crop down the browser source so that only the one that you need is visible for the particular scene that you're on. And with that, you have a single browser source with a consistent train that matches every single scene you put it in. And that is pretty much everything, guys. If you have any custom creative ideas that you think we should implement into this widget, then leave in the comments below. Maybe it will inspire us to make an updated version. Also, if you have any questions or just want to see the widget in action, just a reminder, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link is in the description. And as always, happy streaming. Yes, do it. <laughs> She's like, take me, sweet darkness. Take me.